morning guys uh, this morning we got a unit in uh, losing air pressure when the unit is off basically driver states that turn off the unit if he walks away and comes back 15 20 minutes later starts a unit up basically the buzzer goes off and the needles are at zero so basically this unit is losing quite a bit of air when it's actually turned off uh, driver states at the brake test it actually passes everything works fine it's just uh, he's losing a little too much air when he turns off the unit so let me go ahead and go through this one we're going to start at the engine spray around the governor area spray around the trestle valve which is the put pedal all those little connections on the firewall stuff like that if it's not there we're going to go ahead and go under and start checking tanks hoses connections air dryer etc i mean we're going to go ahead and ch check the whole system with we're going to use soapy water solution guys so let me go ahead and get to that one The trestle valve actually connects to the foot pedal. Connects up. So basically, I'm not getting any air bubbles coming out of nothing. So, I'm going to assume that this area is pretty. We're getting a couple of little air bubbles coming out of that bottom one. So we're going to go ahead and replace that little fitting on the governor. Alright, let me go ahead and check the inside of the bus. Well, guys. Under the unit itself, this valve is all greased up, but not leaking. Fitting is not leaking. Nothing. So, let's continue forward. And we have to find this leak, guys. That little elbow fitting, that little 45, I'm oh, sorry, that little 90 degree is not enough to cause a tank to lose pressure that fast. Not leaking. Not leaking. Both valves are closed. Not leaking on top of the tank. Let's continue. This here's the back side of the tank. No bubbles. Let's go further back. And, well, that's a relief valve, so this one ain't causing it. That's a release valve, ain't causing it. No bubbles whatsoever on this one. Supply line. That's only when you press a brake. But well, guys, I guess that little air bubble at the beginning is the one causing it because hands can't seem to find anything on the underside of this unit. Well, guys, uh, we found the culprit. air dryer relief valve uh, that one just continues releasing air and never stops so this here is a culprit uh, connections were all fine air techs were all fine this is the only one we saw bubbling so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it basically it's very simple connector 10 millimeter little screws Thank you. 
the seal. And voila. Uh, this part broke off of it, guys. And this is done. I'll show you in a bit. Let me go ahead and put the new one back on. I'll take the old one outside and I'll go ahead and show you guys the condition of the old one. New valve back into place. Sorry about all that noise, guys. But there are other people working in the shop. So we kind of have to share the shop. So let me go ahead and get this little valve back on there. plastic protector can make the plug back in and yeah that should be the end of that lead guys well guys this one's very simple when I took it down that little washer stayed inside and this little plunger, which is an actual little valve, but it's, it's supposed to keep crap from going back in it. it. Just fell off, so these two little pieces broke off of it. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of moisture inside that tank, which tells me that this valve was not functioning properly for the reason being that air pressure was always escaping. So basically this is supposed to hold, 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 and then it'll just release a burst of air, which in turn should take some of the water out of that dryer. Well, I'm pretty sure the plunger still works and all that, but it is leaking air. Let me see if I can take this apart so I can show you the inside of it. And just to correct myself, I mean, when I, when I, when I talk about tank, I mean the little air dryer for the brakes. I bet you that one, I think we're going to have to replace that one because all this gunk is basically moisture. I think that element is already full of moisture so it's not actually working. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and remove that or order that receiver, uh, that dryer because we don't have it in stock. Well guys figured it out. Vice grip pinching that little piston in place. It will allow me to take this little 10 millimeter. And this is the release valve. Uh, I don't if you're wondering, well whenever you pull up next to a semi or a bus or anything with air brakes and all of a sudden you hear a burst of air just going up, you know, releasing. Well this is a valve that actually does it. It'll keep your system from building up too much pressure and it'll shoot burst and get rid of some of that moisture. Look at that. Look at that, it's water. Alright, so that dryer, receiver, or that little dryer is gone, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and place an order for that one and I'll get to it when the part comes in. So. I just want to tear this apart and show you guys how these little suckers are put together. This little servo still works, but we can't really do much with a servo. So I'm going to call this one in, guys, and uh, I'm 
Well, guys, uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, if you can, like and subscribe, guys.